Hi there, I'm Andy Crowley. I'm a trumpet player, a shulky artist, very happy to be one, and I'm here to speak to you about my career and instruments and other aspects of brass playing. Um, I just remember, I was probably about five or six years old, and uh, standing outside Buckingham Palace and the railings, and my dad put me on his shoulders, um, and we were, I was looking at this band marching up and down and just spotted these I didn't know what they were called but you know <laughs> shining instruments and um, that sort of grips me for some reason I just said I remember thinking or telling my dad wow I'd love to I'd love to have one of those I'd love to have a go on one of those so if you're a complete novice never ever played um, a trumpet or a brass instrument before Go into a shop such as Phil Parker's, or perhaps um, go to your music department in your school if they can supply or let you try out um, a number of, of instruments, whether it's a trombone, trumpet, um, and get good advice and instruction is, 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 is crucial because when I started, I didn't have a teacher, and within a year, I, we did find a teacher, but I picked up a lot of bad habits. You know, it's not important to have a top of the range instrument at that point, but something that works, the valves that work or the slide that works, a clean mouthpiece, you know, the hole that you can see through it. <laughs> um, and enjoy, yeah, do 10, 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, and just start to familiarize yourself with with breathing and and, you know, trying to make a, some sort of decent sound. And that's all you need to do at the, at the beginning, nothing else. I've played shulkies most of my professional life, particularly the piccolos and E-flat trumpets, which in my opinion are the benchmark um, for those pitched instruments. And they're commonly found throughout the world, in brass ensembles especially, which, which is something I specialise in, obviously with London Brass. Um, there's four trumpets in the group and all of those trumpet players have got an E-flat by Schildke. My first major film score that most people listening here would have heard of was Gladiator. I played on that score. Um, and since then, yeah, I've gone on to do numerous scores, probably hundreds. <laughs> but um, I particularly enjoyed working with some smaller scale things. Uh, there's a composer called Alberto Iglesias, a Spanish composer, and, and he writes really interesting music. I mean, what sticks out for me in those sort of, with, with those type of films, the people I've worked with, like, Sitting next to Morris Murphy for, for all those films was, was incredible. And Derek Watkins and John Barclay. And they, they were terrific, and especially on the James Bond movies, they, they, they were fun. And, and hearing Derek playing lead trumpet on those was, you know, something very special. What we decided to do was rather than start from grade one, go to grade eight. You know, you could get locked into, you know, a whole session just playing one grade one pieces, <laughs> which, believe me, when, when you do that, is, isn't that, isn't that easy to do, <laughs> because you're just playing within, you know, within maybe the range of a fifth. So we divided it up into, we, you know, we do a grade one and then maybe a grade five piece, um, go back to grade three and then do a grade seven, and so that it, it kept, you know. It kept me sort of moving up and down throughout the range of the instrument. The, the recording quality was excellent, and I did use my X3, my Shulky X3. The grading system is is very useful, and it's and it's a reference point again, um, and something that the students can work for to really give them an idea of where they're at, and it also gives you. Uh, the chance to learn and focus on new pieces every, you know, if you're doing you know, 
going, going from grade three to grade four to grade five systematically, you're, you know, one term or, or, or one year, you're learning a set of pieces and then moving on to another set of pieces. Um, and you can get through a lot of repertoire that, that way as well. 